What's going on, everybody? It's been a long time. And I know I always seem to come uh, in and out of YouTube. Maybe because that was, you know, me being YouTube famous wasn't really a priority for me. But I wanted to touch base, get everybody a little bit up to speed. Um, just had a ton of stuff going on as usual. Uh, I'm in the process of doing some things that I can't talk about yet. But there's some potential, some very exciting things going on in the works for me. Um, and I wish I could share it with you right now, but I can't. <laughs> um, no TV deal. This face is not meant for television. Anyway, um, you know, I had started the Robin Off series. You know, I had kind of faded off for a while. I ran, it was, it was like a, it was basically a small off. Um, and I was doing it with front squats. I had gotten all the way up to a 315 pound front squat to depth, unlike a lot of you uh, Instagram coaches and trainers. Um, but the biggest issue for me was I was just so taxed after about eight to nine weeks of that program. I just physically couldn't handle it anymore um, with my job and my commuting and everything else. Um, it, it just became physically a little too much for me. Uh, and mentally a little too much for me and ever since I stopped running that I have been doing more of I don't know how I want to put this but I haven't had a structured plan now in probably about two months three months and I'm actually kind of enjoying it um, right now I'm just making sure that I try to hit you know a body part every two to three days so you know I train legs a couple days ago I'm gonna train legs again today you know, if I hit chest on Monday or Tuesday, let's say if I hit chest on Tuesday, because I don't do chest on International Chest Day usually. So let's say if I do chest on Tuesday, I'll try to hit it again on Thursday or Saturday. Um, with similar principles to what I was doing with daily undulating periodization. You know, some days I'll come in, I'll do hypertrophy specific. Some days I'll come in and do strength specific or power specific. Uh, I, I still just believe in that frequency and, and, and that training style or method, however you want to call it. I have no intention to training on powerlifting, but I do like to have a certain level of strength to maintain. Uh, I still have the goal of wanting to hit a 600 pound deadlift. Uh, I think in another week or two, I'm going to set up more of a structured plan where at least I have the deadlifts built in three times a week. Because I think for me, especially with deadlifting, um, I saw tremendous progress deadlifting three times a week, and that's how I got all the way up to my 575 pound deadlift. Besides that, I've just been trying to enjoy spending time with my family and my newborn son. Um, you know, now he's getting really, really interactive where he's starting to babble a little bit and you can play with him and roughhouse a little bit and he just loves every second of it and I just want to spend that time with him. You know, I'm not the kind of guy that just like, you know, constantly has a camera on him and, you know, different angles and, um, you know, I enjoy just shooting raw video. I don't really edit much of anything. Uh, you know, I don't spend that much time on it. It's not really something I want to do. However, um, I do have a buddy of mine who is who started to do some of that kind of work. So maybe I'll start putting, you know, I'll hire him, and uh, you know, maybe we'll do a workout or two where he does some cool edits and, and stuff like that, and put some music to it. And um, that's really about it, guys. I haven't fallen off. Uh, I'm still lean as hell. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, you need to, because that's where I post a lot of my stuff. Um, it's just easy to snap a picture, put a quick little explanation underneath, a little blurb. You know, sometimes I snap a quick video of uh, either the workout and merge it, um, or just PRs. Uh, um, I do Instagram stories here and there. You can see some of my quirky humor when I'm exhausted at, you know, 9 o'clock at night when I get off the bus from work. I just do stupid, you know, things that I think are funny. Uh, all stuff like that. I just don't know how far I'm ever ever take YouTube. If you enjoy my channel, always watch because I'll post a new channel, I'll post a new video every now and again. But I've really just been focusing on my family. I've been focusing on some of the the, uh, the dreams that I've had and, and making them become realities. Um, and that's about it, guys. I mean. I would love to like act like my life is so exciting, but I tend to downplay everything. <laughs> it's just like, you know, everybody's like, oh, this epic workout. It's just working out, guys. It's just training. I don't think I've ever had an epic workout session. Like, you know, it's changed, you know, changed my worldview or has 
you know, change the, the way the earth spins on its axis. I just go work out with my friends. I've had some really good workouts and you know, those you always remember and that's it. Like, I don't, I don't know what you want me to do. Uh, meanwhile, I do think I'm going to resume some Q and A's. So pay attention to my Instagram. Hint, hint, Instagram, Instagram, Instagram. <laughs> um, I'll post when I'm going to do that Q&A. So if you want to do that, or even maybe if you would like me to do a non-recorded Q&A, so in other words, I'll do it live, maybe do an Instagram story live Q&A. Let me know in the comments section below. I hope all of you are doing well. I hope all of you are succeeding in achieve, you know, uh, achieving your goals. If you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me um, because I always answer my, uh, my social media. So feel free to shoot me any questions you've got. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Peace out.